I welcome you all back to another episode on the Bros of DK. I'm Leslie and today I have a very special episode. Me and Jeroen were driving through the mountain ranges of the Alpine mountains in Switzerland. We were looking for a spot to have breakfast and we ended up here on top of a mountainside. It's freezing outside. It's minus zero. We, will, we wanted to barbecue but <laughs> this is not going to happen. <laughs> Let me show you where we ended up in. You ready? We just came from Italy <laughs> and we were totally not dressed for this weather. Oh, I think we're gonna drive a little bit further to find a place to have some uh, breakfast. <laughs> There's even ice down here. <sighs> okay, <laughs> we're gonna hop in the car. Okay, uh, let's go further. We're gonna search for a spot where we can have dinner. Uh, probably when we get down the mountain, it's gonna be a lot. Uh, warmer than it's over here. It's even misty, we're driving through the clouds. I really love this place, it's quite magical. Switzerland is by far one of the most beautiful countries in the world, especially in the Alpine mountains. Lovely culture, beautiful sceneries, and as, as well, lovely abandoned places that we are gonna to film today. Okay, me and Jeroen have decided to do something crazy. We have seen this lake here to the left of us that you just saw and we're actually going to jump inside. Are we really going to do this? Yeah. <laughs> so I sometimes have these crazy ideas and then I have to execute them. <sighs> we just parked the van over here and this is the lake. I'm already shivering outside. There's literally snow and ice everywhere but we are gonna jump inside of this beauty oh my god this is gonna be harsh very very harsh <laughs> but we're gonna do it and let's waste no more time let's just do it How cold are you? It's warm. Let's go inside of the beauty. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's cold. You can say one thing. Now we are awake. Yeah, I am. Wow, that was really refreshing. That wakes you really up and uh, we're gonna now go down the mountainside, have some dinner and then we go to the first abandoned location. So let's waste no more time and let's go. Mm -hmm. 
So we have just arrived at our first location here in Switzerland and we're going to take a little stroll through the forest right now towards the abandoned location because it's located somewhere in the middle of the Swiss forest. Okay, let's lock up the van and let's go to this place. You ready, Arun? Okay. I think we have to go this way to get to that place. A wonderful walking bridge that we're going over and this runs over a stream. Lovely nature over here in Switzerland, like always. I'm gonna follow you, Rune. We're gonna go here to the right onto the walking path. Yes. I really have to confess, Switzerland is one of my most favorite countries in the world. For the scenery, for the mountainsides, for the culture, and now, of course, also for its abandoned places. I had never been exploring in Switzerland before, until now. I filmed about five places in this Switzerland series, and I hope to do more in the future, but that's for next year. But I'm really happy with what I filmed. Okay, we have a crossroad here. I can see a path going up the mountain here. I think we should take that one. Okay, we have arrived at the household, but we first have to cross this river to get to that place. And I'm gonna try it out before your rune goes, because I'm crazy. Whoa, I almost fell already. Okay. Yes. Oh, it's not that bad. Can easily go down this mountainside. Up. Pretty easy. Okay, I'm already down. Just like that, I've ended up at the river. Okay, and now I have to cross the river to get to the house itself. That's over there. Let's try this out. Over the rocks here. This is going to be pretty difficult with a camera in my hand. Yep. And there we go. And we have arrived. Jeroen is coming as well. Oh, watch out. He's sliding down the mountain, as you can see. It's pretty easy over here. Now we have just ended up at the house itself. It's forbidden to enter this place because it's in danger of collapsing, it says over here. And I can understand why they say this. This place is in ruins, but there should be some rooms still in mint condition inside of this place. So let's try to find them. You good man? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, just drying his hands. <laughs> okay, let's go down here. Here's the entrance into the house itself. We've just made it inside. Let's film this beautiful place. This documentary will be unlike anything you've seen before. Today we will dive deep into two mysterious lives that have contemplated far away from civilization in the dark forests of Switzerland.
Old places have been left behind and lost for multiple decades. They are surrounded by mystery and nobody really knows the real story behind them. Many rumors are spread around town, from mysterious sightings to the owners being serial killers, but most likely none of them are true. The only real thing we can say for sure is that the owners had a heart for nature and they didn't want to live close to civilization. We will take you today on an exhilarating tour throughout Switzerland and take you on a tour of these two wonderful abandoned time capsules. So after our adventure through the woods, we finally made it inside of this abandoned farm. This place has been abandoned since 1974 and used to be of a Swiss farmer. It's been abandoned for more than 50 years right now and that's just crazy. And you can definitely see it from the state of this place. It's in total collapse. But there are still some very nice rooms left behind to the left of me here. But first let me show you what's here in this barn. And you can also hear the cowbells in the background, and that makes this place so Swiss. The tires, the bed springs, and even the grinding wheel are still here. They used to grind up the grains with, make bread from. Wow. The saws to cut down wood in the forest to provide wood for the fireplace that used to be in this household. There's even a pot still hanging here, a pan still hanging here from the side. Pretty incredible that this place has, is still standing after all these years. Oh, I think this is, ah, this is the toilet. Wow, a very primitive toilet over here. A water jack to flush the toilet with, and even the roll of toilet paper is still left here after all those years. Look how they made the electricity as well. Just one bulb connected with a wire and then a little switch at the end. And a mirror to check yourself before going back to the field. Parkeren verboten. Parking forbidden inside of the toilet. <laughs> I don't know why they placed it here. Then the door lock it goes from fry, from free to besets, to occupied. This is where these people came to do their duty. And then from here, we walk straight into the kitchen. A very primitive, completely collapsed switch kitchen. The baking form, other equipment is still hanging from the walls and the spider webs are taking over to the side of it. Oh, we see a little bit of a newer newspaper left here. A Swiss newspaper, marked, and this one was from 2002. So people used to come in here after it got abandoned. <laughs> this is cool. Absolute negative. Kein cannabis, kein ecstasy, minim nicotine. Oh, this is, they tested this person. <laughs> That's a very nice comic. No, no cannabis, no ecstasy, and no nicotine. It says on here. Interesting. Now we have two tables standing here in the middle. They used to have dinner at. And the pots and pans are still left here on the sink after all these years. Wow. I thought it was a fresh corn, but it's actually just a plastic one. The sift hanging from the wall. I love the atmosphere in places like this. My channel was called Bros of DK, and this is total DK. So this fits really good with the name of my channel. Some broken bottles of wine left here. This place is totally falling apart. Wow. 
Look at this little doll standing here on top of the sink. I have to be careful going through here to these beautiful rooms that I don't fall or don't trip on something because that coll could collapse the entire house. Over here is a stairway that will lead up to the barns or to the bedrooms that were upstairs. Have a look at this. Oh, there are. There used to be the bedrooms. Oh, yes. Maybe I will try to go up there and show you that later on in the video. But first, let's go over here to this side. You can see the coat of this person is still hanging here on the side behind the door. And that leads us into one of the beautiful rooms of this place. Oh my God. It's this sitting area. The atmosphere yet again. It's just out of a movie. The whole ceiling has collapsed. There's nothing left of it anymore. Wow. The cabinet where all the liquors were stored is still here on the brim of falling into the basement. The cups and plates are down there right next to the chair. And all the glasses are still in here, still in mint condition. Fascinating. Tea jugs and bottles of liquor up there. Spider webs all over this place. Wow. Look at the state of the roof. That's just incredible. And this is a sofa where the farmer of this place used to reside in the evening. After a long day of work, he came here and rested. I love the setup of this place as well. Just the look of it with the red couch and all the decay around it. Fascinating. A trolley. We have this box on top of it. That's completely empty. On the wall, oh my God, the floor is just cracking underneath my feet. I have to be real careful in here. There's still a little box on the wall where all the glasses are inside. And on this side, we have the fireplace of this household. Swiss places always have fireplaces like this in this design. They protrude from the wall and they are yeah, a big part of the household. They cook on this, they make, uh, they heat the house with it, they use it as decoration. It's the centerpiece of Swiss households. His shoes are also still here. Some plates, bakery molds, and a lovely fireplace to the side of it. Beautiful fireplace. Nicely designed. I'm totally in love with it. And then from this lovely sitting area, you could walk straight over through this doorway into the other room. And this was also some sort of a common area, sitting area, where the farmer could be in the evening, could enjoy himself. You can see the fireplace protrudes too, through to this room. You could also feed it, maybe bake something in here as well. You can see the chimney in the back there. Very lovely. A chair right next to it. A lovely bench to sit on. Oh, and this was the purse from his wife. His wife died first and he was the last one living in this place. Swiss people live to a very advanced age. They have one of the highest age, average age in the world. And normally women live the longest, but in this case, the farmer himself, the man, he lived the longest in this place. And you can see they also placed the bed downstairs. So maybe he was in such an advanced age that he couldn't get up the stairs anymore and then moved his bed downstairs so that he could sleep over here in this room. It made it way easier for him. 
We also have this woven bench up here. Maybe this was for a dog. Oh. And all these carnival masks. <laughs> They're also pretty interesting. They're most likely handmade, as you can see, from plaster. So already the doll and a few carnival masks in here. So this might have been his hobby. There's even a bottle of champagne left here on top of the table. Wow. And this was his wardrobe where most likely the clothes are stored. But I can't walk over here because the whole floor has just collapsed, as you can see. It goes straight into the basement. I want to open this up a little bit. Wow. Here you can see the basement from up here. <laughs> All the things are still left there in the basement. Very interesting to see. Maybe you can open up this chest. There's nothing in there anymore, unfortunately. Oh my God, I have to be careful. Wow, I just literally cracked through the floor. No way. I'm not gonna stay for too long in this household. I still have another one to show you, but I wanna try to get to that bedroom first. So let's try that. I'm now standing on top of the kitchen and I wanted to have a look up here into the second parts in the second level of the household. But from over here, it seems to be pretty empty and I don't want to risk anything. So I think I'm going to go back down and on to the next house. Okay, I have to be really careful going from here. Oh my God. Oh, I haven't shown you this wonderful stove that's underneath here, underneath all the rubble. Look at this beauty. A white painted stove that's slowly crumbling off. All the paint is crumbling off. Wow. Okay, I think we saw this entire house. So everybody, I just arrived at the second abandoned place here in Switzerland that we are filming and documenting today. And this one is quite special. It's like a little paradise here in front of me. Have a look at this. When I came to this place, I immediately saw this sign that says over here, happy paradise. It's like a fairy tale that I'm walking into. And they bought it at the Froh Market, the happy market that says above there. It's wonderful. And then when you enter in this place, you immediately have this welcome committee of gnomes and other artifacts that have been standing here for a very long time, decaying away. And a little dog shed as well. What a lovely place. It's fully overgrown with ivy. Unfortunately, I don't know anything about this place, but let's go in there. Let's try to figure something out. Such a wonderful site, completely overgrown over the years that it's abandoned. In the middle of the Swiss mountainside, you can see a huge mountain behind here. It's not even walkable anymore. The plants are covering the way. Wow. Then we end up at the front of the place. It's being taken over by Ivy. A little bench to rest out at. This used to be also an entrance, but it's completely sealed up now by Ivy and locks as well. <sighs> oh, this would be such a lovely house. My friend Jeroen is already inside. I still have to go in. You can see that some windows over here are smashed, unfortunately. 
That's very sad to see. Let's go up here first. Let's have a look at the view. This goes nowhere. There's only just a little terrace to look over the fields and the forests that surround this property. A little lantern hanging there. Wow. I'm enjoying this place. I really am. Peacock. No, excuse me. A hen. This is the bell for the house. Storage cabinets. And has the house number 13. It says over here. We turn on the light. You can see a little bit better. This one seems to be locked. Okay. Horse carriage wheel as well here. Ooh, this is a pretty tight squeeze. Oh, oh my God. I made it through. I made it through. I can see that Jeroen also, that he went into the place through this door. So we are going to into this place as well, this way. But something I saw immediately was Restaurant Terminus Cafe. Okay, so maybe it was a small cafe for the people that live here in the woods. I also have some emblems still on here about horse racing, 1985, 1978. 1982. Interesting. A skull hanging there on the wall. Is it nice inside your room? Very nice. Very There's nice. Only one room. It's okay. Free. Now we are going in. Okay. Thank you, my friend. Whew. It's very small, but I already expected that. There's a little letter that goes up here and that reveals the attic of the place. There's not much on the attic. Another sign that says restaurant up there and a bird cage as well. Have to be a bit careful going down here. Okay, let's go further. Photo studio, jailhouse, entry, parking van. This is all American English signs, probably from somewhere in the valley, somewhere in the desert. You see it in these cowboy towns all the way, all the time. It's this kind of device. Wow, that's pretty heavy. Looks like a horse hoof or something like that. It's completely made out of iron. I'm not sure what it is. Just some papers. Now we have a religious depiction over here. Wow. Okay, and now it's time to go into the main room. Brace yourselves because we are going into the main room. I had already seen it on pictures, but in person it's even more beautiful. It's just a very small little living room inside of this place, but it's so unique and so Swiss. I just love it. Wow, let's go through this place and let's see what kind of little details and quirky things we can find. And the first things I see are these pictures of these children on the ceiling. You can see this young boy over here and this young girl on this side. They might have had something to do with this place. Maybe they were children of the owner or something else. Maybe this was a little, yeah, holiday residence that I came from time to time. You can also see these angels hanging here from the ceiling on this wooden board. They are very interesting as well. Wow. Wonderful picture of Lincoln here on the floor. President Lincoln. Beautiful wall clock still intact untouched but I'm walking over here on the floor and it's completely wet the roof is caving in 
and this place is falling apart. As you can see behind me, planks are falling from the ceiling. <sighs> That's unfortunate. It's very unfortunate. Another lovely wall clock over to this side. Lovely piece as well. And then the dining table here in the middle. We're a small family. Most likely had some dinners and enjoyed their time in this wooden forest and oh, this must have been so lovely. This house is literally the right size for me. I don't want anything bigger than this. A lovely copper plate. Still left here. Candle holder on the middle of the table. Some Chinese soup spoons. And then a crystalline chandelier hanging from the ceiling. So many wall clocks as well. I love it. A treasure chest underneath with another gnome on there. He's playing the accordion. <laughs> what a lovely little puppet. Oh. This built-in cabinet into the wall with all these dolls inside and all the other artifacts that are stored in here. So incredibly wonderful. Lovely dolls. An angel again. People in Switzerland are still very religious. So we see religious artifacts all over these places. This one is very creepy down here. Another crock down there. And then on the wall, we have, I believe these are US presidents, but I'm not sure. Something about this house is very US. Lots of US influence and artifacts everywhere. And no, this is Edison. Oh, these are inventors, I think, or just famous people in general. I don't recognize them immediately. Was this Mozart over here? I'm not 100% sure, so excuse me if I make mistakes. Another lovely picture of a lady here, into the, made into the wall, and on this side as well. This might have been the family. The father, the mother, and the two children on each side of the room. Wow. The Swiss Lake, Zurich. And then to end it off in this room, we have this bench, this lovely red bench here in the corner. And of course this table to put some coffee on top. Let's see, there was one more room here at the end of the place. Lovely green door. Studien Seminar 20, Biete Türen Sie. This is sort of a waiting area. This was most definitely not a restaurant. You can see a hall tree at the end there. And there's some nice pictures of the town that we are in. And another religious depiction over here on the wall. <laughs> what a quirky place, everybody. What a quirky place. But I must say, I love it. I totally love it. I'm gonna give you a last view at this room over here. It's just fascinating to see. What a beautiful adventure through Switzerland. Two amazing abandoned places and the scenery and the things we did today, just wonderful. There was not much history attached to these places, but they were still very nice to see. 
and I want to thank you all for watching this video until the end. Please like the video if you liked it, comment down there what you thought about it and subscribe to the channel if you're new here. I want to see adventures like this every single week. There's also a link in the description for Patreon, there you can support the channel and help us out to going on these adventures around the world. I want to thank you all and I see you next week in another epic adventure. Bye bye, I love you very much.